one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. Yes, it's working. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection. My name is Johnny, and I am your host for today. Mr. Zorik is not here, so I will be doing the Kids Connection program. I want to welcome everyone to this exciting program where we're going to be talking about God and His plans for us and how we can count on Him. So, without further ado, I want to welcome each and every kid who's watching us online today. Yes, I'm very happy to be here and hopefully I'm, I'll do a good job and Mr. Zorik let me do it again. So, let me take a look at my notes. Yes, yes. So, to get our program started, we're going to sing our song of the day. So, I welcome every boy and girl at home, moms and dads, to sing our song of the day together. I won't worry about a thing. <laughs> So now, I invite you all to close your eyes 
as we talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Bless each boy and girl at home and may this program be a fun program. And God, please help me do a good job. This is my first time doing it and I'm so nervous. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I am happy to be here. And again, my name is Johnny. We are going to be talking about some exciting things happening at Kids Connection. Not only at Kids Connection, but also connecting with God. Yes. But I want to talk to you about our mission spotlight. Our mission spotlight today is about a far country where a man and a woman weren't feeling well. They didn't know why until they found out. Yes, they found out why they were they were feeling good. So let's watch it and see what happened and what did he do and how we can help them with our offerings to help other people the same way they found help and assistance. So. Let's roll our missionary story for today. There was a silent killer in Yorina's home. Our family was eventually dying because of our kitchen. Because what was produced from the kitchen was not healthy to the body. It was slowly sapping the life and health of his family. Yorina and his wife got sick. Yorina was feeling worse every day. He felt so sick that he thought about committing suicide. That was until he discovered the silent killer that was slowly taking away their health. The type of food we were using was already damaged food, overcooked and all that. When I came across one Seventh-day Adventist evangelist and I read through his, some of his literatures, I discovered that I was living a very wrong life. A ray of hope came when Yorina learned of a health seminar organized by the nearby Adventist church. He asked his wife to go since he was feeling very sick. After the meeting, Yorina's wife came home equipped with newfound knowledge. As she made me feeling bad, she started applying water therapy on me straight. What she learned there, she never knew, had idea about that ever. She applied the water therapy, cold and hot water on me, covering me. And before you know, I was sweating. We started having a new lifestyle. The lessons from the health seminar had a tremendous impact on Yorina and his wife. Their yard, which was once full of chickens, is now empty. In its place, Yorina planted different types of medicinal and health-giving plants like moringa and aloe vera. The plants are all around their house. They also take advantage of fresh fruits and vegetables, which are abundant in Nigeria. Yorina is now living a healthy and happy life. He and his wife are ambassadors of the health message, teaching what they learn to anyone they can. They started building a small space in front of their house where they can teach people about health and the Bible. They've also used this space to start a small Bible study group. But Yorina is just one man, and the city of Abuja has more than three million people, people who would benefit a lot from hearing the health message. This quarter, your 13th Sabbath offering will help build a medical center there. This center will help treat illnesses and show people a better way to live. I look forward to a medical center that people we say that there's a health facility when you go there all you see is love within the health workers there there's a health facility that when you go there there's something else you you receive apart from the routine things routine services you see in other health facilities please pray for the development of this health center and for the other projects this quarter thank you for supporting the 13th sabbath offering Mr. Zorik said that 
We've been counting on offerings from boys and girls, moms and dads, so the missionaries all over the world can continue to build hospitals and churches and schools. And I am so happy because I am going to donate to the boys and girls and to the missionaries across this, across the world. So if you haven't done it yet, please follow the link. Click above this video and let's help the missionaries. Thank you. Okay, so in today's lesson, <clears throat> what's today's lesson again? Oh, it's about, it's about, I don't know, everything is going wrong for me. Mm. Sorry, boys and girls, my friend Paul is a bit nervous. His, his camera shy. So, uh, Paul, do you want to come out? No, I don't want to come out. Hmm, okay, well. I guess I'm gonna have to do it by myself. Hey, hey, Paul. C come on out. Come on out. Come on out. See the boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls. So, uh, let, let me, let me introduce you to my friend, Paul. Paul, oh, it's okay. Come on up. Hello, boys and girls. Oh, Paul, are, are you gonna help me? With the theme for today? I don't know. Everything is not so right. What do you mean everything is not so right? You know, Johnny, everything is just going wrong for me today. What, what do you mean going wrong? Yeah, I was trying to set up the microphone, but it, it didn't work the way I was planning. So, everything is just wrong. Well, I don't think it's so wrong because here we go. We have the microphone working and the boys and girls are watching at home and I am presenting the program so everything is going fine. Yes, yes, but it wasn't. Hmm, okay. Yes. Do you want to talk about it? I don't know. Well, we're friends, right? Yes. So, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. And, you know. Okay. Well, see, Johnny, my life is just being wrong everything's been wrong tell me more what, what what happened what 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 is going wrong okay well johnny you see i was trying to ride my bike the other day and my the tire got flat and i couldn't ride my bike anymore well but that's just a tire getting flat. It's okay, sometimes tires do go flat. Yeah, but both tires? Oh, both tires? Yes, at the same time. Wow, but that's not everything going wrong. No, no, that's just the beginning. Really? Yes. After the tires got flat, I went to play soccer. As soon as I kicked the ball, <laughs> the ball got flat. Wow. Really? Yes, Johnny. Everything is going wrong. Well, but I'm sure you found something else to play with. Mm, yes, I tried, but when I got my little, my favorite card to play with, 
As soon as I pushed, the car crashed and broke and I couldn't play. Wow! That's crazy! Yes. And that's not all. Really? What do you mean that's not all? You see, Johnny, after I broke the little cart, I went to ride my scooter. Oh, scooter! Yes, yes! We love riding scooters together! But wait, what happened? You see, when I got the scooter to ride, it broke too. Everything I touch breaks. I can't believe it. Everything in this world breaks. I can't. I'm such a bad luck. I can't do it anymore. Everything, everything, everything. Well, Paul. Yes. You know, sometimes things do go wrong. But it doesn't mean we have to give up. We have to keep going. Yeah, yes, I know. But not every single time. Hmm, let's see. Well, let me tell you a story. In the Bible, there is a story of a man. A man who... Everything was going wrong for him. Really? Just like me? Yes, just like you. Everything he did went wrong. And he always trusted God. That God was going to help him. Really? Yes. And Paul, what I like to tell you is that don't give up. Oh, okay. Because God is with us. And when God is with us, nothing can defeat us, just like this man in the Bible. But it's hard. I know it's hard, but it's not impossible, and I want you to try it. Okay, Johnny. Promise me, Paul. Okay, I'll promise. And I guarantee you that sometimes things do go wrong, just like it goes wrong for me and for the boys and girls at home. But we always pray and we ask that God be with us and protect us and guide us. Okay. And you know what? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play a song and I want you to sing the song with me, okay? I'll try. Yes, it's a fun song. It's our, our song of the day for today. And all the boys and girls sing at home. But I want you to sing it with us. Deal? Okay. I'll try. Okay, boys and girls. You know the song because we just sing together. Now, we're going to sing it with my friend Paul. And let's see if that's going to cheer him up a little more. Okay? <laughs>
was in a lurch and I won't worry, worry about a thing. To the left I'll fly, 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 to the right I'll fly, 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 oh and I won't worry, worry about a thing. I'm gonna swoop down low, low. It was a lot of fun and thank you Johnny because now I learned that I don't need to worry about anything because God is with me. That's right! God is with you! And just like the Bible story that we're going to learn today in our classroom that God can help us and He promised to be with us. All we need to do is trust Him. Okay, boys and girls, so let's just remember. Yes, boys and girls, don't forget that God loves us. Yes, God loves me, God loves you, and He can help us. So now, let's pay attention to our story as we continue our lesson for today. But before we do that, now it's time for the boys and girls to sing the song at home too. So. Do you want to sing it again? Yes, I want to sing it again. Okay, boys and girls, so let's sing our song of the day together again. Let's sing our song. Yes. <laughs>
for singing with us, Paul. Oh, thank you for encouraging me to sing with you, Johnny. Okay, now let's pray to close our program. Dear Jesus, thank you because you love us. And thank you because you promised to take care of us and we don't have to worry about anything. Protect us every day from all bad things that happen to us and it could happen. Keep all the boys and girls safe at home. Moms and dads, grandpas, grandmas, and everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So, I hope I'm doing a good job today. I think you were. And if I did a good job, Mr. Zorik will invite me to come back and host Kids Connection again. Oh, <sighs> uh, I think you did a good job. Okay, I'm going to go down and take care of the sound again, okay? Okay, Paul. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, kids. Thank you, Paul. All right. So, kids, thank you for having me as your host for Kids Connection today. I want to thank Mr. Zorik because he gave me the opportunity to be here while he couldn't. And I was so happy to do it. And hopefully, I get to do it again. Now, to finalize our program. Hold on. Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, yes. To finalize our program. We have a couple celebrations. Remember the last week, Mr. Zorik said that we had a birthday? Well, after that birthday, we had two more birthdays. So we want to wish a happy birthday to Uxbo. Uxbo, happy birthday. It was his birthday last week, and we just want to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Uxbo. May God bless you. Not only Uxbo, but also Nolan. Nolan turn three and we are so happy and we hope that god blesses nolan and uxpo now in addition to uxpo and nolan we also have another birthday coming up this week and that is ryan ryan is having a birthday this coming week now so happy birthday ryan and to everyone so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Ah, oh, this was fun. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, boys and girls, for being here with us today at Kids Connection. And I hope that you have a great week. But don't, re don't forget, Mom and Dad, you have Parents Connecting this afternoon. Hold on. Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, and also tomorrow, we have Kid to Kid. And in next, not tomorrow, Sunday, but the next Sunday, the 19th, we are going to have a church business meeting via Zoom. So have your mom and dad check their calendar so they can be a part of that too. It's our church, our voice. I am planning to be there if the pastor let me. <laughs> okay, so don't forget boys and girls, we'll be here again. And by the way, remember, send us a note by email, Connection at gmail.com we want to hear from you if it's your birthday we want to say hello to everyone and if it is mom and dad's birthday or whatever you want to say we will be happy to read your note here in the air so thank you so much for participating on another kids connection program until next week my name is johnny your host for kids connection <sighs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Until next week. Bye.
<laughs> we might come by two. Um, the lesson for this week is regarding difficult questions or tough questions um, about the world and the things going on and there are things that happen to us. But really the main thing to consider or to focus regarding that is that God is always with us. He is everywhere. Wherever you go, uh, no matter where we are, we can't go anywhere. God is always there with us, even though we don't see him. And sometimes that's hard to understand or perceive or to sense, you know, because we're humans. We like to use our senses. We like to see things. We like to feel things. We like to hear things. We like to touch things. And with God, we can't do that, can we? Have you guys uh, seen God? Have you guys touched it? No. No? You, we have, we just can't. We don't know it. Yes, that's right. Because if, if we start using our senses, we, we can say that we can't. But, but if we kind of focus on the spiritual, on what God is like, we can actually see him. And we can see his wonders everywhere. Let's read the text for today. It's in John 1, 51. Well, actually, 50 and 51. And it says, Jesus says, Because I told you that I saw you under a fig tree, you, you believe? You will see greater things than that. He said, Amen, Amen. I tell you, you will see heaven open up and the angels of God going up and coming down. He was talking to, son of man. He was talking to Nathaniel when he was saying this whole boy. That's right, Carolina. He was talking to Nathaniel. Nathaniel was one of his disciples. And um that Jesus has, has seen Nathaniel before and he told him, yes, I've seen you before and I recognize you. And he said, and Nathaniel thought, wow, this is, wow, this is a great miracle. This is only somebody that is like God would be able to do this. To actually know me and know my name and, and know where I am and who I am and what I'm all, all about is the only only somebody that's with God would know this and, but Jesus said that's only a little thing there's many other great things if you believe in me that you can see and that's and that's the truth uh, and that's the truth about all of us if we actually start focusing on God and the wonderful things that he does, we, I, we, we will be able to see great things. We will be able to see all the amazing things that, that he does for us. So, uh, unfortunately, as humans, you know, as people that, that, that live, you know, in this world, and then, unfortunately, also, as people of the, the church the, we tend to focus on negative things all the bad things that are going on oh this hurts oh oh did you hear this bad thing or did you hear this other uh, bad thing and so we tend to be very very negative and we forget about the huge blessings that we have We have uh, billions and trillions of cells in our body mm -hmm. um, that make our body uh, it just even like digesting our food uh, and giving us energy is just like a miracle. There's all these processes, all these chemicals, and we 
Yeah, just to see Carlita. She was like, when she was born, she was like a little baby. Look at her. She's eight now. She grew. And Sammy, too. Just like five years ago, she was, well, like four and a half years ago, she was born. And she grew into this uh, little toddler. And, and it's still growing. And it's just amazing. She's not a toddler anymore. Yeah. Our um, four-year-old, <laughs> but yeah, still growing. It's and it's just a blessing, you know. You plant a, a seed, and it's and you start watering. You give it some sun. You, you give it the things that it needs. It just it starts growing. That's nothing to take light of. So even though we do take it light of it all the time, it's it's just it's just a miracle. And there's so many things like that. And us, us ourselves, we are, we have this great potential. We have this beautiful, awesome mind that we can focus on and be able to create great things. We, we can uh, do these wonderful things um, to benefit humanity. But unfortunately, a lot of the times, we use our mind to do the wrong things, to do the bad thing. And a lot of things is, is just the things that we're, you know, we're watching on TV that we're watching on the internet and a lot of those things are not benefiting us. Those are the things that we're focusing on. Those are the things that we're looking at. And those things are, are leading us the wrong way. Instead of focusing on what? God. God, right. But what is God? God is love. God is joy. God is peace. He is, God is patience. God is kindness. steps how to do it you will need red construction paper some scissors and some pens color pens to write the food fruits of the spirit in your hearts hi this is how our crafts look like we got to practice our food of the spirit of patience because it's a little bit challenging the main trick is when you fold uh, your papers, you need to not cut fully, you need to leave like a space where you don't cut, and then it will work, work out. Can you tell them about your hearts, Carlina? I wrote how love is on my heart. And I put stickers on both sides. Love, I mean, it, love brings her joy. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoy the craft.
But this episode requires a bit of uh, discretion. Some of the images are a little bit scary because it shows Satan. And so it's up to you or your parents, you know, mainly your parents. If not, you can also go to YouTube and search The Miracles of Jesus Animated Bible. And that was um, another option for you to watch. And you will learn that Jesus has power to, to do anything. We just need to believe. Focuses on you and your love and your greatness and the, how that's exactly. 